Hey guys and welcome back to another follow-up video on the MyCloud EX4100 and on this particular video we are going to check the backup capability of this NAS. Now for this uh, testing scenario I've got a thumb drive USB on the front, a SSD connected at the back also uh, through USB and we are going to perform also a backup test to my NAS which you can't see at the moment the EX2 um, and we will uh, talk about the internal uh, backups as well. So let's go to the screen right now to the backup section and the first backup uh, that it's already created by the system is which I've been testing and it is the uh, backup solution for the front uh, USB uh, so it will be imported to our folder public USB import and we can select if we want to copy or synchronize this depending on your needs and auto start when connected or not and so let's leave it as it is and if we press the button right here and hold it for one two seconds that's what I've been uh, testing it will copy the, the the files that are on the USB drive to the NASH and it will give us a message probably you won't see it right over there but saying that the files were copied and later on will give us a warning here uh, already have one here not sure if it's this one or not probably not it will give me another warning saying that the files were copied to the NASH so this can be useful although I don't use this can be useful for some of you just arrive to your office or home doesn't matter and just plug in your drive and then make the synchronization or the full copy of your thumb to the NASH itself now let's take a closer look at one of the other options which is the backup solution now some of you might um, think hey I've got a NASH with four drives one of them can fail so this is a backup I always say to everybody <laughs> that I can a NASH by its own it's not a backup solution it's a storage solution so you need to get a backup solution on site and preferably one as well off site which means out of this office um, but if you want to know a little bit more what I think about backup solutions just browse the channel and I have uh, that information there so I don't waste your time right over here so one scenario is uh, you want to back up your NASH to another um, device and you might ask why because this can fail the NASH itself can fail I'm not talking about the drives but the NASH so this is a great solution now let's create the job right over here and um, well I didn't show you let me bring this on screen so the files that we imported first will go uh, directly to the USB import and here we are with the Kingston data traveler with four photos only so it was a quick backup uh, this is the original drive pen drive that it's inserted on the front so sorry about that taking this out of the way let's create a backup USB so we want in this case Nash to USB and source folder destination folder is giving me a hair should appear a button right over here let's cancel this let me refresh the browser uh, these things can happen and it happened live so let's go back to the screen backups and USB backup create job there it is we have the button right over there so uh, the, as I was saying backup uh, USB USB to NASH, no, we want NASH to USB, source folder, let's use the folder that I've been fooling around with some files and let's select the uh, USB drive which is my SSD that I showed you, well if I didn't show you, I can't remember, here it is, connected at the back of the NASH, um, the data traveler is the pen that it's on the front, so let's press OK and what we want to do here uh, I will say copy but you can uh, synchronize uh, let's say copy and auto start when connected no, uh, let's leave it off so create and it's, it will update let me bring this on the screen just for a few seconds uh, USB disk 1 backup USB ok we already have a part of a backup that I was testing and let's remove this yes so we have our USB drive uh, empty and let's do this right over here okay so he already started doing the backup because <laughs> um, we did on the details uh, we had 
right away if I'm not mistaken so it's already performing and what I did actually was I deleted the files that were already right over here uh, let's stop this uh, for a second and let's do that once again backup stopped and on my USB disk is empty so let's leave it like this and press backup now so if you place it as synchronization once you press that button it will synchronize uh, the files that's the way I'm doing with my EX2 uh, at, the moment, at the moment sorry backing up to a USB uh, drive let's see uh, it says here backup completed backup USB EX4100 and here we are with the, the folders or the folders so the files that we've backed up from uh, so this is the drive and the, the folder that we've chosen to back up was actually this one here EX4100 which has four files and they are now all backed up on our USB here so you can pick up this USB and uh, take it somewhere else and you know that that particular folder is updated and backed up on that uh, USB now let's move on to um, remote backups and before we start talking about remote backups I would like to mention here that it's easy if you plan to have a remote backup which is uh, one thing that I still don't have 100% working because my remote backup it's a manual uh, backup that I do but taking that out of the way um, regarding the remote backups I always advise that you use the same brand so if you are using a WD EX4100 um, the best option for you will be to use something on the same family so I did test around with my WD EX2 and they work perfectly even outside the network so that's a great advantage you don't want to spend at least I don't want to spend much time troubleshooting things I do prefer work on the things that I know and do these devices make all the work so this is just an advice my personal opinion and let's move on so on the remote backups we can create a job right over here and let's say uh, remote and I want Nash to um, when, when it says here WD MyCloud EX4100 it will access my uh, it, it will ask to access my cloud account so in here I'm gonna uh, place my details and sorry that I will cover them with something here on the video edit <laughs> editor sorry uh, so just my email and password that I did register on the uh, my cloud so now it will give me the chance to choose whichever device I've ready for that and I do have the cloud uh, my cloud ex2 so press next um, in this case it's on the intern internal uh, network so it will show me my internal IP address but if you have it uh, somewhere else in the world uh, it will show you the address um, the DNS um, that is provided from the WD to go um, engine or server whatever it's those kind of things that I don't know and I don't care how they work I just want them to work and the and the actual fact is that they work so let's move on I'm gonna place here my uh, very safe password and for the SSHD as well and source folder let's use the EX4100 once again and destination folder it will search for my EX2 so I've got a folder here on my EX2 let me bring this one here and um, data so I created a new folder just for tests right over here and my drive is sleeping so let's wake her up and just a few seconds and she will be here yeah so yeah I've been playing around and here it is part of a backup as well let's remove this one okay and as you can see it's empty so let's move on here and we want to use this particular folder as a destination folder backup type copy or synchronize I will just leave it as copy and one great thing here is the recurrence uh, so we can select daily weekly monthly and uh, the time that we want particular to, to do this backup let's say 
uh, weekly on Wednesdays at uh, 3 o'clock or monthly day number 5 of each month at certain time. So this is great and this if anyone at Western Digital is by <laughs> any means watching this video please do try to integrate this on the USB backups. I would love to see that uh, and this will be on my list of the things that I did like less. I would love to use this on my EX2 and uh, on future and I'm sure more of you would like this feature so but let's move on that's just a uh, request now I'm going to create the uh, let's put off the recurrence for now for the test and let's create this job and the job will appear right over here and it already start uh, doing it so if we have the synchronize uh, option it will do the job for the first time and on the future when you are adding files when you press this button right over here if it's not automatically uh, it will just synchronize the files which will save uh, some time and <clears throat> it's almost uh, finishing we have about uh, I don't know 400 megabytes of files here if I do a refresh no files yet but they will appear soon now while it's doing the backup let's try the internal backup and in the internal backup this is something that uh, usually I don't uh, use but some of you might be interesting so interested in that so let's go uh, and check that out so in here I've got a test and if we go to the um, to the details uh, we will see that we have uh, a backup from the EX4100 folder to the Smartware folder. Now, if I press play and let me just check, bring this one on screen. Uh, so before we go, let's check the backup that we did to the US, uh, to the EX2 and here it is. So all the files that we had are now right over here on the EX2 uh, which is simulating that is remotely located on anywhere else so if the office burns down which hopefully don't uh, we wouldn't lose uh, any data now let's move on to our my cloud EX 4100 and in here uh, smartware yeah so this is the folder that we are going to use for this uh, particular backup now let's press play and see how it goes now while is doing the backup let's go to the cloud uh, backups you will have the integrated option of using elephant drive or amazon s3 so if you want besides backing up um, your NAS to um, a remote location you can also use these cloud services which personally i do not use i use amazon s3 for other purposes but not for uh, uploading my files from the NASH. I do prefer, uh, call me old fashioned, but I do prefer to have it all under my own control. But this is an option and great for those that uh, want to use it. Now regarding the last option of backups, which is the camera backups, actually this is something that I don't use. It's great to see it here. It's an option and some of you might find it useful. Uh, personally, I do not back up directly my camera to the NASH. I do use the SD cards and whatnot to connect it to my um, machines and just grab the files out of there. But that's the way I work. Uh, so I'm not going to test this one. Let's just see if our internal backup is uh, done or not. So if we go to uh, Smartware, uh, just a reminder, we were copying from the X4100 folder, which is right over here, to the Smartware folder, which was just one of the folders that I've chosen. And it gives us the uh, date and time that was created so here it is with the files right over here now let's check if i haven't forgot anything uh, so usb backups the two types uh, from usb to nash and nash to usb remote backups to the ex2 uh, internal backups from one folder to the other one cloud backups which i will not be testing and the camera backups so guys in conclusion all these functions personally the ones that i use most is backing up this system to a usb drive which is the system that i have on the moment with the ex2 uh, 
also the remote backups are great hope that you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one which will be speed tests and noise tests if uh, there's any noise tests and if you did like the video don't forget to thumbs up and check out the youtube cards right over here so you don't miss any of the videos now stay tuned my name is roberto george and i'll see you on the next one